Uh, obviously, the big thing story in the news is what happened uh, yesterday evening and all uh, to Nipsey Hussle. And it's been everywhere. It's been the number one trending topic on Google. Um, tragically, a tragic loss of a young brother, my age, uh, 33 years old. Uh, man was a someone's son. He was someone's uh, f- father, two girls' father, actually. And he was someone's boyfriend, uh, Lauren London's boyfriend, apparently. Uh, they had a daughter together, and he had a daughter from a previous relationship. And uh, so did Lauren, you know, because Lauren was uh, Little Wayne's girlfriend at one time. But, you know, nevertheless, they all are grieving right now. And any friends that he had, people in that neighborhood who knew of him, uh, fans, they are all hurt by this. Uh, I can honestly say I'd be lying if I told you I was a big fan of Nipsey Hussle. I heard of him. I never really listened to his music. I do know he had a Grammy-nominated album, Victory Lap, last year. He had the number one song. One of his top hit songs was uh, Fuck Donald Trump. So uh, he was well-known. He was getting up there. And I know that he had a documentary that he was doing on Dr. Sebi that was supposed to be done. And a lot of people have been speculating whether... His murder had something to do with it. Different people have said different things. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Uh, Being a black man in America, we know that uh, conspiracies are not that hard off. Uh, From Dr. King's assassination to Malcolm X, uh, you know, Dick Gregory broke all of that down. You know, everything's possible. Anything's possible. You don't put it past uh, the devils that are out here that are going to do something to undermine our community. However, we also got devils within our community that we got to deal with. Um, You know, whoever did this, and if, uh, you know, whether they were government-backed, whether it was game-related, I don't honestly know. And really, I don't care. Well, I care, but whatever it is, if you know who this person is, you need to bring him to justice. You know, the stop snitching code, that can't happen anymore. You know, we want to see the best of our communities. We know our, we know there are good people in these communities. It's not that it's a Crenshaw problem. You know, it's a problem everywhere. When you see the stuff that's happening in Crenshaw, I see it in New Orleans. Uh, when you see it happening in New Orleans, you may see it in New York. And I'm sure you see it, I know you see it in Chicago. You'll probably see it in Miami. There's a problem in our inner city with our youth, uh, with crime. Although, yes, crime, of course, is perpetuated and it's indicative upon where you live, but something is wrong uh, in our society, and we need to get rid of that criminal element uh, that is plaguing our society. And this brother apparently was more than just a rapper. Uh, He owned a business. He had several businesses in one block. We talk about uh, buying the block. You've heard Tariq Nasheed talk about buying the block and uh, Brother Phil from The Advice Show a uh, few other people, you've heard that fr- phrase uh, many times from different people, buying the block, giving back, you know, and he was one of those men that was apparently giving back. I look at the work that he was doing, trying to squash gang violence, although he was a former uh, gang member himself. He was part of the clique uh, within the Crips at one point, and Brother Nipsey left that lifestyle. He started selling CDs until J- and Jay Z was the one who discovered him back in 2008, and bought a hundred of his CDs for uh, I believe a hundred dollars. So he took his money, he invested it, he put it back to his community, and he was recycling the dollar. He had a barber shop, he had a restaurant, he had clothes, uh, clothing store. He had an accessory shop for people to get prepaid cell phones. You know he was putting his money where his mouth was. He was doing work with the children in the community. He was uh, going to meet actually with the LAPD today with regards to squashing gang violence. So this brother was making some uh, was making some headlines. He was making a lot of moves. Uh, he wanted to produce a film on Dr. Sebi. You know, he was doing some things. So could that have made him a target? Yeah. Could this have been gang raided? Yeah. I don't really know. Uh, you know, at this point in time, uh, while it matters, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. It does matter, uh, especially to his family. 
uh, to his fans, to his friends. But I want to use this time now. What we should do is try and follow his example. And I think that's the best thing we can do for Nipsey. Uh, you know, he was trying to make all of these things possible for his communities. Let's look at buying a block in our neighborhoods, wherever you're at. Look at real estate investment. Look at, uh, you know, your local uh, stores. Let's see if you have blighted property. If you see something that says for lease or for sale, look into it. Go down to City Hall See if this lot that's this blighted house that you see if it's vacant. Maybe you can turn that house into a business. Maybe that could be a beauty salon. Maybe that could be a barber shop. Maybe it could be the next bookstore, clothing store, something where you can and you might be able to employ some people and get those who were running the streets off the streets. Because apparently this is what this brother was trying to do. The other thing we can look at is, you know. What area, the areas that you have, if it's not a house, if it's a building, you could have multiple businesses in one building. You know, it doesn't have to be a big building. It could be a small size building where you can have co-opting offices, where you can have, you know, the real estate agent. You can have the attorney there. You can have the notary public, although attorney service notary public. You can have all of that rolled in one. When people want their business done, it could be in that, you know, one floor of that area. And then beneath that, you might have a doctor's office with uh, someone who's a pediatrician, someone that's a general physician, someone that's, let's say, is the dentist's office is across the uh, hallway. You know, just think, just think. The other thing, too, is we need to uh, start, one thing I've noticed, we need to start controlling our narrative. It's very important. I've spoken about this many times. Look into buying how much it would cost to form our own television network. BET is not a black-owned network. TV One, which is black-owned, and yes, Kathy Hughes founded it. There are many whites that work in TV One's networking. Now, not to say that whites can't work with us, but when we have something for us, it should be by us, and we should have this final say on what our images should be. You know, those are things we need to think about. We should look into all of that, how much it would cost, how much it would cost to form a production company, to make movies. You know, you have brothers out there like Will Packer. Uh, I have another friend of mine who uh, does music producing as well. You know, talk with people like this if you're interested in doing that. You want to change the narrative in Hollywood, let's make it possible. Let's make it happen. So with that, uh, Brother Nipsey, 33 years old. You are in my prayers. I didn't know you, sir. I honestly didn't ever listen to your music like talking about it. I'm, uh, you know, I listen to hip hop, but not that often. I'm kind of an old soul, but uh, I pay attention. And I've heard of you, but uh, you will be well missed. Obviously, the people in Los Angeles and Crenshaw are, are uh, missing a night in shining armor, which is what you were. And my thoughts and prayers go out to. His family, uh, his mother, his father, his girlfriend, Lauren London, mother of his children, uh, anyone else that knew Nipsey that was close to him, I'm deeply sorry for your loss, and I will keep you in my prayers and sympathies. Guys, we got to learn to love one another, and uh, let's stop the violence. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, be blessed. Peace.